Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground adventure. You saw on, of course you saw in the title, I am at, where am I? Brushy Creek Park, Lake of the Pines, still deep in the East Texas Piney Woods. We're gonna experience Brushy Creek Park today and tonight. We're gonna start out with a site review. This is a very extensive park. Had no idea. Cause it was closed last time I was here. What site are we in? Ah, we are in site number Edward 217. Those beautiful pine trees up there, man. It's a long site. And it's pretty dang level, too. It's an asphalt pad. Of course, it's got a, a curb on the edge. It is 50 amp and water. The pedestal looks like it's in pretty good shape. You know, it's not brand new, but... It's, it's good, not a huge sight, backs up. Of course, I'm not sitting back here. The patio, the porch, it's gravel. We have a metal picnic table on a concrete pad. We have a fire ring and a cooking grate. Best of all, we're gonna be camping in style now. That is, we have a, a lantern hook. We haven't had a lantern hook in three campsites. It took four campsites for us to get a dang lantern hook, man. Then the downside to this site, as you just saw or just heard, that's a road that goes all the way around. So we're kind of like right here on the corner. Stand it on the corner. And we are not in Winslow, Arizona. So let me, let me finish. I don't, doesn't require much for me to set up anymore. Let me finish getting stuff together and we'll go see some stuff. Brushy Creek Park, Lake of the Pines. Lake of the Pines is gorgeous. I am on the courtesy dock. For my boat ramp fans, I'm gonna give you a perspective that I've never given you. And that's to look at the boat ramp from a, a sea, <laughs> from out in the water. Actually I have a jetty that leads out to the courtesy dock. Kind of gives you a sheltered cove. So when the wind is coming from that direction, that would be the west, you're protected. All right. Let's go see some more Lake of the Pines stuff. If you're planning a visit to Lake of the Pines and Brushy Creek Campground in particular, You'll be happy to know that they are in the middle of some renovations. That kind of limits your uh, availability of sites right now, but man, when they get finished, these are gonna be really awesome sites. All concrete pads and, and fancy. And I, I just saw a deer cross the road. All right, let's go see some more Brushy Creek stuff. So if you like to tent camp and you want a cool experience, come out to Brushy Creek Park on the Lake of the Pines. Check out these tent sites. Now these are these are uber primitive. You've got community water and a, and a shower bathroom. Wow, so cool. So on the Brushy Creek Park map, which I, that trusty map is in my pocket. According to the trusty map, there's a fishing dock. What the map doesn't show you 
is that the fishing dock is actually up on the bank way over there and not in the water way over here. <laughs> so the fishing dock is now a fishing jetty, I guess. That'd be a, be a good place to put bobber in the water. Right over there. I don't have time to put bobber in the water on this visit. Whew. No wonder they took out the, they haven't put the fishing dock back up. This is in bad shape out here. All right. Let's go see some more Brushy Creek stuff. As you know, I don't typically talk about the dump station unless there's something that you need to know and at Brushy Creek, campground here on Lake Old the Pines, you need to know the dump station is at the end of this dead end road. <laughs> now there's there's ample room to, to get turned around provided you're not a huge rig. Uh, I don't know that I'd be making that turn pulling the, the pickup. Uh, I can could, I could make the turn no problem with, with Trudy by herself. But pulling the pickup, I don't know. I might be cutting that a little bit too tight. Anyway, now you know. Let's go see some fun stuff. Well, if you're going to pay a visit to Brushy Creek on Lake of the Pines, and you want to do some swimming or the kids want to do some swimming they actually have a little swim area here and that looks like they've got it roped off just for the littles to be able to swim now there is a much larger swim area at the day use park over there we shall we shall go see that shortly Meanwhile, let's go see some more Brushy Creek Park stuff. So there is more than one dump station at Brushy Creek. You'll actually pass this one as you're coming into the campground. Uh, it's a one-holer. So I imagine Sunday morning there's a line of RVs waiting to dump their poo. Make sure you bring a sidewinder so that you can get your hose over the curb and not leave, not leave anything behind for me to step in. Thank you. All right, let's go see some. Let's go see another boat ramp. Brushy Creek, Lake of the Pines. Two boat ramps. Now this is the public access boat ramp. You don't have to go into the the campground to get to it. To to get to this boat ramp, you do have to pay a day use fee, but it's not in the campground. They have a loading dock and all of that stuff. All right, let's go see some more day use stuff. If you're coming out to Brushy Creek Campground and you like to play basketball and you like to shoot some hoops, well, <laughs> they got you covered. There's a basketball goal. You want to entertain a bunch of folks, have a birthday party? Well, they got you covered there too. Uh, the group pavilion is available for reservation. And a big old cooker, ready, ready to cook up some brisket. Y'all want to see another beach? This is actually a, a little bigger beach. They have, have plenty of opportunities for you to get in the water here at Lake of the Pines. Beautiful day, to, beautiful place to spend the day having a picnic. And if you're hot and you want to get in the water, it's a little bigger beach swim area than is available to you in the Brushy Creek Campground. This visit to Brushy Creek Campground on Lake of the Pines is sponsored by CampgroundViews.com. Welcome to your secret weapon to finding the perfect campsite. Campground virtual tours are here, they're real, and they're available for you. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? 
we have now. You're in Jumbo Rocks Campground, the most popular campground within that national park, and you're taking a look around. You're seeing the roads, you're seeing the sites, you're seeing how far away that restroom is from those sites. Details never before available to you as a camper are at your fingertips right now. You can even enter the dates of your stay. I'm gonna be there on September 14th. You enter that date, hit confirm, and your map will update showing you which sites are green and available for your stay. Click on them and jump up to and take a look at that particular campsite. Is this one right for you? If it is, that's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? If it is, click on it, click book, and there you go. You can book that campsite right now. Campground virtual tours are available, as noted, for over 860 locations all across the United States. Go to campgroundviews.com, click on the virtual tours tab, and you'll see all the tours we have available right now. Note there's pages. Simply click on the pages to load more results, and it'll update the map and the listings below with the different campgrounds we have available. If you want to go by state, click the regions tab, and you can easily go to the various states that we currently have tours available of campgrounds all over the place. The campground virtual tours are a game-changing experience and we invite you to join now by going to campgroundviews.com, clicking on join and signing up. Link is in the card and in the description below. They'll help you find the perfect campsite. Brushy Creek Campground, Lake of the Pines. Last time I was here, Brushy Creek was closed. And right between Brushy Creek and Buckhorn Creek, which was where I was camped, Buckhorn Creek. There's a park on the dam, below the dam, in front of the dam. On this, on the lake side of the dam, there's a park. It's called Lakeside, <laughs> Lakeside Park. It's on the lake side of the dam. Part of that area, that Lakeside Park was closed off when I was here last time, which is where I am now. But over here, on that side, that's the Brushy Creek day use boat ramp. And then there's the day, the, 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 the Brushy Creek campground is over there. We're going to do an exploration of Lakeside. <sighs> People in their garbage. I was just talking to the gatekeeper about garbage anyway we're gonna do an exploration here of lakeside and, and look there's a, a dumpster right there so stay tuned we're gonna go see some lakeside stuff if you're planning a visit to lake of the pines lake o the pines and you want to have some some alone time some some by yourself here at lakeside park there's a point <laughs> there is nobody here the point sticks way out into the lake so the actual dam is over there but of course the dam on this on lake of the pines is really long but the main portion of it is over there. Brushy Creek Campground is over there somewhere. All right. Let's go find some more stuff. There's no stuff here. This this was the stuffless stuff. <laughs> Been talking to myself too much. Coming out the Lake of the Pines and you're going to camp at Brushy Creek Park and you like disc golf. You probably already know this, but there's a disc golf course at Lakeside Campground. We're right currently at number nine, and that's a par four, because there's bushes and there are trees in the way, I guess. I don't know. I don't know much about disc golf. I know whenever you see one of those baskets, though, it's your own of disc golf course. The reason I'm here is, is for you. The reason I'm here is for you to show you the stuff. But the stuff I wanted to show you, that's Brushy Creek, right there. That is the in park boat ramp. And there's a, my camera sitting on the, the wharf right there. 
that's all I had to show you here. Let's go see some more stuff at Lakeside Park. If you got the urge to play some volleyball, just head on over to Lakeside Park. And they got you covered. Last time I was here, that was actually a pond. It was, it was so wet. <laughs> All right, let's go see some more stuff. Well, if you're out at Lake of the Pines and you need to get in the water and for some reason you just can't find a beach, how about one where there is nobody? You can swim by yourself out here. Just make sure you wear a life jacket because there's no lifeguard on duty. I also have two volleyball nets here. Man, it, these people out in East Texas really like to play volleyball. If that last swim area wasn't beachy enough for you, if it, if it was a little too empty and you needed to swim with some other people and you needed more sand, well then, at the very end of the road, there's a, another bona fide beach. And you can have a view of the dam from here. And when I was here last, and I know I keep talking about that because it was a totally different perspective. Those, the, when I was here last time, there was a huge flock of Canadian pelicans hanging out all on this concrete wall. That is, until they saw me and then they, they, they said, there's a Texan, we better get out of here. All right, let's go see a boat ramp another boat ramp for my boat ramp fans another boat ramp if you're collecting boat ramps then lake of the pines is a good place to come because they got all kinds of boat ramps here this one actually has a really big courtesy dock which kind of makes me think it's a very popular boat ramp but then there's another boat ramp on that side of the dam that has an even bigger parking lot there's also a fishing dock over there but you'll have to go back in time to see the other videos i created about lake of the pines to see that because I'm, I'm done for the day i got a special guest showing up i gotta go see him so let's go see some youtuber stuff Good morning from Brushy Creek. I've already finished drinking all my coffee, so <laughs> I just showing the mug off. It's a gray and overcast morning here at Brushy Creek. Brushy Creek Park, Lake of the Pines. And it's, the air is just is so thick, you can almost cut it with a knife. I woke up to a surprise this morning. A good kind of surprise too. 
I was out here packing up the, the devil's fire pit from cooking supper last night. Fantastic time hanging out with RV on the wayside. Donovan, you're the man. I enjoyed our visit. But I was packing up the devil's fire pit this morning and uh, the, the case that comes in was laying on the table and I picked it up, opened it up and this was inside. This is cool. I don't know if you can see, it's the, the Dude RV logo. And, uh, thank you. I, I don't, there's no note. There's, there's, oh wait, there is a note. There's a note. This is, thank you from last cast, I promise. So I met last cast last yesterday. The young man, he's just re, he started a YouTube channel. It's about fishing and some other stuff. He's actually camped right there behind me. You can see that. That's awesome. Thank you, last cast, I promise. So if you guys are looking for fishing content, camping content, Go over and pay a visit to Last Cast, I promise. Help him out. All right, let's talk about Brushy Creek, Lake of the Pines. I like this campground. Uh, it is it is a well-maintained Corps of Engineer campground. It's hard, Wait. <laughs> hold on. When you hit five campgrounds in four days, it's hard to be, uh, to keep them separate and 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 not bring a bias to the table for the partic this particular campground or any particular campground, especially when it's the last on a, on a marathon like this, you, you know, stuff kind of starts to run together. But but this, I'm gonna be unbiased. Brushy Creek Park is well maintained. Of course, it's Fourth of July weekend and it is packed full right now. The, with a, as with a lot of Corps of Engineer campgrounds, it's laid out kind of funky. It's like whoever designs Corps of Engineer campgrounds, they're not RVers. But with that being said, the sites, most of the sites are in excellent condition. The, the, they're level or easy to get level in. The solid pads, they're clean. This campground is very clean. Hardly any litter anywhere. I would recommend that you come pay a visit to Brushy Creek. Kind of out of the way for a waypoint stop. Uh, we're, we're pretty far from most of your major thoroughfares through the state of Texas. But if you've got the flexibility of out of the way looking for a spot, Brushy Creek is good for you. If you're looking for a place to spend 4th of July weekend with beautiful pine trees, a lake to put a boat in, to put a hook in, to put a kid in, to go swimming, <laughs> to go swim, <laughs> Brushy Creek's a good place. I mean, it's right next door to the day use area, North Lake, Lakeside Park. Oh. Definitely worth coming to pay a visit. Two, especially when they get this renovation done over here. It looks like there's some really great sites over there. We're done here at Brushy Creek Park. I enjoyed the, the brief visit. I enjoyed the company that I had, the, 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 the meetup. I enjoyed hanging out with some fellow YouTubers because we can speak the same language and talk about stuff that we all understand. <laughs> that makes a difference. Last cast, I promise. All right, I'm rambling, so it's time to close this out. Hey, if you've stuck with me to this point, I really appreciate it. If you've found some value or entertainment in this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, uh, I certainly appreciate it. That's why I get to hang out here that's why I get to visit these cool places. I mean, look at this. Look at 
in my front yard. Except for the occasional car that drives by. This is a great campsite. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. Thank you. You rock. All right, it's time to get on the road. And I'll see you down the road. Y'all come back now, you hear?